What's going on, YouTube? Um, that last video that I did, uh, I was trying to think of the title. Hidden Streams of Income in Trucking. Let me go ahead and break that down. In trucking, from my experience, uh, time is money. Anytime you can get to your destination, get the freight off, and move on to your next next you know next job, next uh, 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 stop, uh, you're doing good. But the moment you got to stop, now you're going. A lot of times you're going to jack something up. You know, you're sitting there waiting and stuff like that. So, now put a dollar value on that time. Now, that, that changes everything. Now, you're like, well, come on, man. I got to go. So, let's go ahead and break this down a little bit. All right. So, I was reading through the comments. Um, and I'm sorry, I don't remember everybody's name. Uh, one of the comments was, uh, well, why don't you just... Uh, you know, get the detention time. You know, focus on that. Just get the detention time. You know, here's how I see it. And I'm sure other other people will see it like this as well. When you pull up to the shipper, when you get checked in, or receiver, you get checked, shipper two, you pull into the receiver, you get checked in, you are required to give them two hours of free time to unload you. So you're sitting there for two hours, you know? When does detention kick in? Kick in after your two hours is up. So, and this is all recorded, you know, when you check in. So detention time, what is detention time? Detention time is, this is for people that don't know. Detention time is when you're sitting there waiting and then they're gonna pay you for the time that you're waiting. So the going rate for detention, I think is like 50 bucks an hour, something like that. Uh, not unless it's, you know, negotiated differently. Um, but, you know, I'm leased to a company, so I can't go in and say, yo, it's $100, and I can't do that. Uh, well, I could, but they just, <laughs> man, get out of here. All right, so let's just say the going rate is $50 an hour. So that's what they would get paid from the receiver. Now, in my situation, now that I'm leased to a company, or it could be another company or whoever, if you're leased to a company, and they take a percentage and you get paid percentage, they're gonna take their cut off of your detention time. So it's $50 an hour. So let's say uh, you're $10, uh, you're, they take 10%. So now they take $5 out of that. So now it's down to $45 and it just goes, you know, goes down, down the list. So, uh, sorry, I don't wanna put my hand there. So, Let's say you're there for three hours. So using that $50 figure, you're at what? Um, $16 and something right there. If you got paid for those two hours, are, are you following me? So now they take their cut out of there. So now that $16 just got cut down, right? So you see where I'm going with this, right? So it's more economical to pull the stuff off the truck yourself. Now, let me, now back in that video, I said I had to check some things out. And one of the things I checked out was that this is across the board of drivers, you know, unloading their truck. And then the companies don't want to pay them the same uh, fee that they would pay uh, the lumper. So in my case, it was $125. They don't want to pay that. Um, so then when I called, they said it doesn't work like that. They didn't say it didn't work. They just said it doesn't work like that, but they're not going to tell you how it works. So how it works is 
you create your own company, your your lumber company, right? You just need a tax ID number uh, to, to give them a receipt. That way, when they pay you, uh, when you call in your request for the lumber, uh, comp check, you know, you fill that information out, put your company name down on there at, for the receipt. I mean, yeah, for the receipt. No, on the check. The check will go to your company, your LLC, court, whatever. Uh, and then you write a receipt from your company to uh, the company that issued the comm check. So in my case, $125. So I would get the, get the money put on the comm check, right? Then I would uh, write a receipt from that comm check. For, for, yeah, from that comm check to the company. You know, with my company information or with my tax ID number. Um, so that's how it, that's how that works out. So you just got to put a third party in there to get that money. Uh, this information is out there. I didn't come up with this. It's just, I just, it just popped in my head. Like, wait, hold on a minute. So this information is out there. Uh, just got to look for it. Um, so that's how that works. Uh trying to think i think i had something else to say oh is this unethical it no no it's trucking it it's business it's business it's nothing business is like chess you have to figure out they're not going to tell you you have to figure out in my last video like the rules of engagement uh i heard this one guy say um don't hate the player. Don't hate the games. Don't hate the game. Learn the rules so you can win. Just learn the rules. That's all you got to do. Um, and somebody else made a comment on that last video uh, about basically brokering out the lumper fee. <laughs> yeah, you can do that, but I, I just want to get paid for my time. And, you know, keep it moving. So how does broker and the, the lumper fee out? So let's say it costs $125 to unload the truck from the lumper fee, right? So I would tell the company it costs $200. And I would pocket $75. You know, they pay them their, their $120. I would have to pay them the $125 to the company, to the, uh, the receiver. And then I would tell... Uh, the broker or whoever that the lumper fee was $200 and then I'll have to write a, uh, a receipt for $200. Um, that's, that's how that works. Um, if that's what you want to do, cool. But like, I just want to get paid for my time. That's all, you know, um, uh, have a good one.